has all the chutzpah of a wheel clap. DJing's hardly the most strenuous of professions. Now, I'm the hardest working man in show business, so it's ironic I've produced a son so bone idle he makes the giant tree sloth look like Ainsley at the climax of an especially fraught edition of Ready Steady Cook. A boy so lazy he couldn't even pull a greasy stick out of a dog's ass. I recently went to see this disco Dracula, this Nosferatu of the night bus, DJ at some happy hardcore hellhole in Shoreditch. Oh, I'm a tolerant man. <laughs> I shared a very small dressing room with all of Shawadi Wadi for an entire summer season. But it was when he played some tune that had sampled a piece of my former glory that I said enough. That's right. Some faceless noisemaker had decided to steal a few bars of one of my finest Pickwick releases, my unique cover of Pick a Dum Dum. Taking a chunk of my dick and putting a big beat metronome underneath it is like taking a Maraschino cocktail cherry and placing it on a doctor. Now, I have no real objection to being sampled, not if it's done correctly. Lenny Beige is the product of years of mature expertise, therefore you should sample me like a fine vintage wine, a, a Pinot Grigio of Panache, a Chardonnay of Chutzpah. Ah, I'm not a glass of Vimto, don't just gob me down. Take, take time to sniff the bouquet. Ah, the aroma of mum deodorant in Davro's dressing room with the friends in Winter Gardens. Ah, warm apples on a Sunday glass coffee table at Jim Bowen's house. Ah, the potpourri mix in the downstairs toilet of Lindsay de Paul's. Ladies, take time to swirl me around your mouth before you spit me out. If I got air miles for every gorgeous...